Here's an article from AOL, the Huffington Post article. Headline, Stephen Hawking, Space Exploration Crucial to Human Survival. Because it's from Toronto. Stephen Hawking says the colonization of outer space is key to the survival of, man of humankind, predicting it will be difficult for the world's inhabitants to avoid disaster in the next hundred years. The renowned astrophysicist explores some of the most remarkable advancements in technology and health with the new UK-Canadian series Brave New World with Stephen Hawking, playing on Discovery World. Before its premiere, he discussed the Earth's most pressing concerns in an email interview with the Canadian press from Cambridge, England, declaring space exploration to be humankind's most urgent mission. You know, when I read this shit, and in spite of the fact that Stephen Hawking... People think he's a genius, and he's certainly got intellect of a certain kind way beyond anything that I personally could have and he's certainly had to endure decades of a kind of courage to just go on being unable to well he's got Lou Gehrig's disease let's read more we are entering um, an increasingly dangerous period of our history said Hawking who has Lou Gehrig's disease leaving him almost completely paralyzed and unable to speak. More quote, our population and our use of the finite resources of planet Earth are growing exponentially, along with our technical ability to change the environment, for good or ill. But our genetic code still carries the selfish and aggressive instincts that were of survival advantage in the past. It will be difficult enough to avoid disaster in the next hundred years, let alone the next thousand or million. Our only chance of long-term survival is not to remain lurking on planet Earth, but to spread out into space. And, you know, I just... What a fucking moron! In spite of all of his intellectual capacity that he has, that's in many ways, as I said, some far exceeding anything I could, on a certain fundamental realistic level, he's still a goddamn fucking moron of the comic book Star Trek type of mentality, which is what he's playing up to. The idea that we're going to leave Earth and colonize other places is idiotic. Why don't you say that sensible population control is our most urgent problem to deal with right now, which is what which is the truth. And if you said that, I'd be saying yes, thumbs up. Great. Thank you, Stephen Hawking. I'd be saying thank you exactly what needs to be said. But instead, I'm a big thumbs down. I'm saying Stephen Hawking, and I, it's hard to criticize somebody who's in this, he's in this wheelchair and he can't talk and he get, can move one finger to type letters that will speak for him. Um, you want to respect the intellect that's inside that skull, but at the same time, we don't know how much you can't tell. If he had a healthy body, then maybe we could argue. You can't tell how much this disease is affecting the rationality of his thinking process, or whether he's just, to a certain degree, a fucking moron. Trapped in this... in this body. Hawking said this is why he favors manned, or as he puts it, personed, space flight and encourages further study into how to make space colonization possible. I'm sorry, but you're a fucking moron. In spite of your fucking genius, you're still a fucking moron on a fundamental level. Hawking's five-part TV series touches on that theme while putting 
the spotlight on scientific breakthroughs that promise to transform the 21st century. He introduces each other, blah, 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 blah. He's simply saying the sort of shit that our government and its massive space program wants to have said. That's all. And I am sorry, but just because some guy's in a fucking wheelchair, and just because he's got the ability to teach university physics and to write books in spite of the handicap of his terrible physical condition, doesn't make him infallible and doesn't mean that everything he says might not be somewhat stupid. And this notion that that our res response to the overpopulation of the planet must be that we should colonize outer space is absurd and idiotic. And what he should be saying, if he's going to say anything, is that we need to focus on the horrid problem of overpopulation by not overpopulating. By sensible, by in, in, why don't you fucking talk about these fucking people like these Octo Mom and the Duggars who are having 20, 21, 22, 23 children per couple and want to have more no matter how much, how many children they have, they, they can't get enough. They want more and more and more. Why don't you fucking say something about those people? No. Those people are glamorized and held up as role models while Stephen Hawk, while the Stephen Hawking's on the other side say, oh, that's okay, we're not going to criticize overpopulation, but we're going to advocate space colonization. It's idiotic, ridiculous, it's fucked up, it's stupid, and a, a big fuck you to Stephen Hawking, just a big fuck you for being on top of being a kind of a genius, you're also a kind of a moron. And I'm here to say that to you. Your fucked up mentality, it's not realistic. And, and, uh, and in a sense, you can't blame him. How can a guy in this wheelchair with one finger to type his, to communicate with, how can he have a thoroughly realistic viewpoint? He's not going to. He's got a, he's got a peculiar viewpoint that, that science can, can provide these these science fiction type solutions to it's ridiculous so it's pissing me off <laughs>